With deer season winding down, shed season is just beginning. This is a shed antler from a white-tailed deer buck, and I like to spend my spring and late winter time looking for shed antlers. First, I want to talk about the difference between an antler and a horn. As I mentioned, this is an antler. It's grown every year in the springtime, and they fall off in the winter on deer, caribou, elk, and moose. Horns, on the other hand, grow continuously throughout the animal's life. Those are found on sheep and goats. Deer will typically lose their antlers between January and March. I like to get out there in late February through March. The later you wait in the season, the greater the chance is that a rodent will find the antler. Rodents such as squirrels, mice, and shrews love chewing on antlers for the calcium and minerals within them. In the late winter, deer's movement patterns are limited. They're going from their bedding areas to their feeding areas. So it's important to know where those deer are gonna be to start looking in those spots. I've had success finding them in open fields, cut corn fields, uh, thick bedding areas, as well as open woodlots. South facing slopes are another great place to look. Deer are getting heat from the sun in those cold winter days and that's why you find a lot of sheds on those south facing slopes. Now when I'm looking for shed antlers, I try to pick a cloudy day because it, it helps your eyes adjust to the landscape around you and doesn't overwhelm your eyes with brightness. Um, and you don't want to look for big sheds. You want to be focused in on just little tines. When I'm looking for sheds, I'm not looking for the entire antler. I'm looking for just a portion of it. And that could be the tip of a tine or the rounded portion of a main beam. The curvature of the antler can really pick your eye out of everything in the landscape. While possessing sheds is legal, it's important to keep a few things in mind. Always get permission when hunting on private property. If you're hunting on a wildlife area, you're free to do that whenever you want. If you're shed hunting at a local park, it's important to check the rules with the park administration. When a deer naturally sheds its antler, the base of its antler is going to look like this. It's kind of rough in texture and almost looks like sandpaper. When out shed hunting, there is an exception to the rule. A lot of times shed hunters come across deadheads, which is a deer that has died in the previous season. It's not legal to possess this without a carcass receipt. You can obtain a carcass receipt from your local county wildlife officer. When cabin fever setting in, get outside and try to find some sheds of your own. It's a great way to spend time with family and friends in the outdoors.